Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time tuning in, my name's Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit where I just open up, tippy tap in and bring through messages for you. Let's just take a moment to open our hearts and our minds to the beautiful divine truth, guidance and wisdom that wishes to come through today for us. Okay. So you're doing great, first of all, is what spirit wants you to know. Um, don't give up. Don't give up. If you're feeling tired or overwhelmed, just take a minute to rest. Take a break, but don't give up, okay? So I have some things written down that I, I kind of want to go over first, all right? So what I'm feeling from the collective is that there is this really big collective shift where we are reclaiming our power, and many of you watching, you, you're, you're starting to view the nine to five with benefits as a cage, a prison, a place that keeps you chained and bound to a system that you wish to break free from. Many of you are really wanting to get into fields, careers, or jobs that promote healing, love, compassion, giving back to the community and helping others. If certain jobs or relationships in your life don't feel aligned, you simply can't do it anymore. You're done, okay? It's like your whole body, your whole being rejects it. Many of you will be finding that you're about to go through another shedding process, which may surprise you because you might have thought that you were like done. You were good. You were, you're like, okay got this job I'm in, doing it, loving it. <laughs> and then in comes another ascension where you raise in vibration and then things are going to fall away from your life again. And spirit just doesn't want you to panic, okay? I've been hearing don't panic, don't panic for about the past week, okay, you guys? Don't panic. People, places, and things are leaving their life right now in order to clear the way for what is meant for you, for these new beginnings that want to come in for you, okay? So I just feel a lot of people wanting to slow down and enjoy life on their own terms rather than being like a slave to other people's agendas or a slave to a big corporation who treats their employees like they're just a number or they're dispensable or they don't really matter, right? So... I'm just getting this energy from the collective that it's like no more wasting your time. No more. You're not going to waste your time, not a single second in a place that you don't enjoy working at, or you're not going to spend any more time with a person that you don't enjoy the company of. And I just feel like you're wanting to make more time to do things that your soul really wants to do, like create, right? Create. So I feel a lot of people taking a step back and reevaluating their lives and their priorities. Many of you have been asking yourselves like really big questions, you know, like, who am I? What, what am I doing? <laughs> what is society doing? What is humanity doing? Why are we living this way? How did we get here? <laughs> What's not working? What needs to change? Am I truly happy? Am I living my truth? Did my family and I become consumed by our screens? Are we consumed by social media and the internet? Or is there a healthy balance there? There was a quote by Prince, and it was when the internet first came out, if you can believe it. <laughs> and he said, the internet's cool. He said, it's cool to get on the internet, but be careful. Don't let the internet get on you. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us have. <laughs> I think a lot of us have let the internet get on us and start controlling us. And we've got to sort of break free from those chains as well and make sure that we're using technology in a way that benefits our lives, our children's lives, and the lives of others, right? Making sure that we're using it in a responsible way 
and that it's balanced out, right? And that we're not consumed by it. So I just feel like a lot of us are wanting to slow down and really bring it back to the basics, live more simply, turn off the screens and do a puzzle or read a book or have a tea and, and a, a nice conversation with someone or, you know, get out the craft kit and, and make some crafts with the kids rather than turning on the screens or whatever it is, right? It's about coming together, community, enjoying one another's company and really working on our relationships, our interpersonal relationships with one another and forming those close bonds, okay? That's just what I'm getting. So let's see. I just see a lot of people who have been feeling like, you know, you've been feeling like you're on some sort of um, a rat race. You've been in the rat race going, 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 and you keep falling behind. You feel super overwhelmed, really stretched in multiple directions. Like you just don't have enough time in the day. You can't get everything done. And I just see everybody wanting to just stop, you know, and take a step back and then just start cutting away things in their life that are making them feel this way, right? It's like, what can I remove so that I can make my day, so that I can live my day with intent and feel more focused and present and in, in the moment rather than scattered and all over the place and pulled in a million directions. Yeah, so don't panic, okay? Don't panic because for many of you, you're going through a really, really fast, rapid ascension. This message has been coming out in my readings for a while. And again, there's just this, this shedding process here. Justice is coming out. So justice is an energy of knowing your truth speaking your truth standing in your truth and living your truth and not swaying from that truth and it's a it's also a card of finding balance and harmony in your life and i feel like this is where we're at we're at this place where we're like am i living my truth am i speaking my truth you know is my life balanced is my daily routine balanced or not and if not what can i do to make it so right? And I feel like many of you want to do what's right by yourself, your kids, your friends, your family members, and the community. You want to do what's right for humanity, for the planet. Many of you are wanting to, I don't know, maybe launch a project that would be of like many of you are wanting to get into advocating or starting a charity, humanitarian work, finding ways to assist Mother Earth. Okay. And I just feel like it's just important to you to live in your truth and your integrity and really reclaim your power. Reclaim your power from certain systems that have really had a hold on you for a long time and you're just not buying into it. You're not buying into the systems that you used to buy into. I really feel like for those of you who have tuned in, your consciousness has expanded to such a state that you, you're not even really fully feeling like connected to the earth right now, which is why it's super important for you to get grounded, okay? Because you're starting to really see the bigger picture and it's just going to be in small ways. Just like, for example, opening up a toy and you're like, why is there so much packaging from this toy? This, Why did they have to use so much plastic for this one little toy or whatever it is, right? It's like, this is so wasteful. You know, it's going to be things like consumerism that starts to bother you and you're not going to want to buy things. You're going to start, you're actually probably going to start giving stuff away, donating your belongings, 
um, decluttering, getting rid of things, and not consuming nearly as much as you used to. You know, it's like, what are the essentials? What do I really need? And if I don't need it, and it's not bringing me joy or happiness, and it's not adding value to my life, then I'm going to get rid of it. Right? Or like, some of you might be looking around at your neighborhood going, We're, we all live the same. <laughs> We're all in a house. We all have little patches of lawn and we all get out there with the lawnmower and mow the lawn. And why do we do this? Why do we have patches of lawn and why do we mow them? <laughs> Just like little things like this, right? What else could I do with this land? Maybe I could turn it into a garden instead of grass that just sits there. And then we have to mow it and consume gasoline which goes into the atmosphere and doesn't really help anybody right it might just be little things like this that you're starting to notice and question and then ask yourself what could I do instead maybe some of you are going to go out and get a push mower <laughs> right something like that or for example like I was looking at my kids lunches the other day and I'm like wow there's a lot of packaged things in here and a lot of the packages can't be recycled they just go in the trash but if I had if I started to make more things from scratch then I wouldn't have all this packaging so even just finding some time you know an hour on a Sunday or something like that to do a little baking and then freeze it in the freezer to like pull out and put into their lunches without having plastic wrap around it or whatever would be really you know, beneficial. It's like these small little things that we can all do on a collective scale that's going to make a huge difference. The Eight of Cups. So many of you are getting to this place in your life where you're realizing that if it's not working for you, if it's not aligned with your truth, it doesn't feel good. And then you want to leave. It's like you want to make changes. You're not willing to wait around for things to change it's like you're you're ready to just take back your power take control of your life and walk away from anything that is no longer serving you many of you are walking away from jobs that are not fulfilling you where you're not living your truth or walking away from jobs where there it's like a toxic environment or you may have a toxic boss or you're not seen you're not heard you're not valued you know there's a glass ceiling there's only so far that you can go and then you cap out or perhaps there's no opportunity for advancement at all and you're you're asking yourselves like what am I what am I doing here what am I doing here I'm not able to um express myself authentically or create or do what I really want to do and I just feel like many of you taking a good hard look at that reevaluating and going in a different direction leaving certain relationships behind and moving towards your ten of cups right it's like I don't want to waste any more time what am I doing <laughs> what am I doing life is short life is precious screw this right I'm out <laughs> page of cups it's like time to create. It's time to have fun. It's time to be happy again. It's time to feel like a kid again, you know, where you don't have a care in the world and you can just go out, have fun, laugh, and enjoy yourself. And I feel like that which has had the collective chained and bound, it's like this devil energy or these devil relationships or devil jobs or devil situations, they are being conquered at this time, you guys. Like you are freeing yourselves from anything toxic, anything or anyone. Anything that you feel chained and bound to, right? Look at the fool fell out into my lap. 
So yeah, this is it. It's like a new way of living, a new way of doing things, living originally, living authentically, doing things different in a way that suits you, in a way that makes you happy, rather than going into a workspace that is toxic, for example, and you basically give this employer your time and they treat you like garbage and then you go home and you're like, what am I doing? Like, what am I actually doing? I'm staying in this job out of fear, but I can go my own way. I can free myself. I can do my own thing. I'm intelligent. I'm resourceful. I'm creative. Many of you are meant to be leaders, own your own business, or be the boss. You're not meant to be the little minion, if you know what I mean. You're meant to be the leader because you're a good leader. You're a fair leader. You're a just leader, right? So I see many of you wanting to take a risk and try, try something new. Try your hand at a new project or make time for yourself, like free up your schedule so you're not working so much so that you, you have time to actually enjoy life and dibble dabble in hobbies or write that book or paint that painting or make that work of art or I don't know, whatever it is, right? Create that business, spend more time with your kids. And I just feel like when you do that, when you live in your truth, and you take this leap of faith, it's like the universe is just going to rise to meet you, you will be supported, and you're just going to find so much joy, happiness, and contentment, and peace doing your own thing, going your own way. You can go your own way, go your own way. You can go your own way, right? So yes, here is another shedding process. You are letting go. You are moving on. And with that, some things are going to be left behind. Queen of Swords. So you're just not taking any BS right now. That's how I feel. You're like, you know what? No. <laughs> I'm not wasting one more second in this environment that is toxic. Goodbye. <laughs> or you know what? No, we're, we're not aligned anymore. I'm sorry. Goodbye. This is where I say goodbye. I wish you well. No hard feelings, but goodbye. <laughs> right? And you're going to follow your heart, Eight of Cups. Or sorry, Ace of Cups. You're really in that Queen of Swords energy where you're really taking a good hard look at every aspect of your life. You're being logical focused. <laughs> I'm hearing no fucking around. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You're, you're not fucking around. You're not playing around. Like you're getting down to business. You're taking out your sword and you're just going chuk, 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 chuk. cleaning up your life, cleaning up your mind, cleaning up your thoughts, cleaning up your act, right? Getting control of the house, getting the laundry under control, the dishes under control, getting um, whatever it is, like your like chores under control, your daily routine under control. The moon. So there you are walking off into the unknown, right? Into the unknown you go. But you do so with optimism, trust, and faith because you know that the universe will rise to meet you. And honestly, so many of you are at this point where you are so drained, you are so depleted, you are so sick and tired of not feeling fulfilled or satisfied where you are that you're ready to take this risk into the unknown, right? You're just going to get to this place where you're like, that's it. And you're like, universe, this has to work out because this is my decision and I'm going for it because I can't stay where I am. I can't anymore. A, a shift needs to occur here. Change needs to happen. The wheel of fortune, the universe, the universe will rise to meet you. It's like the universe is also stepping in here, you guys, into our lives. And 
they really are pushing us forward towards where we're really supposed to be. And they're pushing us out of jobs and situations and relationships and mindsets that just don't have a place in our lives anymore. So again, you guys are going to be noticing people, places and things falling away, but don't panic. The hermit. Yeah. So this is um a really great time for some more well inner inner work, inner learnings, some soul searching. Many of you may choose to take some time alone to hermit, go within and really get back in touch with your soul, your truth, and, and really make sure that you're headed in the right direction for you and what you want. They also just don't want you to lose hope or lose faith. If you are feeling a little bit panicked, okay, just hang in there. Hang in there. This too shall pass, okay? Some of you needed to hear that. Others of you, I feel like you're doing okay. And there's a small group of you where I can feel there might be a little bit of fear and nerves around this shift, okay? Yeah, many of you might be thinking, oh my God, again? I'm losing like this job again? I'm not vibing with this person I'm shedding more friends and now I'm feeling like I want to hold myself up in my room again. Like spirit, I just went through this last year. <laughs> Why is this happening again? And it's because it's for your development is what I'm hearing. It's for your development. It's for your progress forward. It's for your greatest and highest good. It's for your illumination is what I'm hearing. Okay, something will be brought to the surface for you to look at and heal okay many of you are either going through a period of shadow work or you are about to okay yeah look judgment this has to do with that rapid ascension your vibration is going up and you're you're being called forward into your life's purpose all right anything else spirit you'd like to say the Ten of Swords. So this is a time of letting go. Letting go and moving on, you guys. Letting go. The Ten of Swords represents endings. Sometimes painful, messy endings where we feel hurt, betrayed, exhausted, and just done. But for, for those of you who are tuning in, I feel... It's mostly career related where you're just, you've been going to this workplace for so long and all of a sudden you've just had enough. You're just done, right? You're like, that's it. I'm out. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I literally don't have it in me to put up with, with anything or anyone <laughs> that doesn't feel good, right? Like if we're not getting along, I'm not going to push the matter. I'm just going to move on. If this job is draining me, and seems toxic, then I'm just going to move on. And I'm not going to have any fear because I know that I'm meant for more. And that's what spirit wants you to know. You are meant for more. That's why these relationships or jobs are falling away because you're not meant to be there. You're, you're meant to move on. Okay. So don't worry. Whatever has been lost will be replaced tenfold it will be better better than before yeah i just see so many of you wanting to put an end to things that bring chaos distraction destruction negativity to your life like even myself you guys in my own personal life with my kids I took away their Nintendo. I took away the remotes to the TVs and I've locked them away. And I'm like that's it. <laughs> We're spending more time together. <laughs> right? We're going to draw, we're going to read, we're going to have dance parties, we're going to play outside way more. And it's just it feels good. I feel like I'm reclaiming my power because it's so easy to just 
kind of let that fall by the wayside. And then before you know it, you're, it's, we're just all on our devices and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we need to look each other in the eye. You know, we need to have a conversation. This is too much. So it feels good. It honestly, the house today feels so peaceful and calm without the TVs on. Like, I'm not kidding you. And the kids, their energy is down, like calm. They're not as wired and crazy <laughs> as they usually are. So yeah, it, it does make a difference. It's just little things like that, that um, many of you will be looking at and tweaking in your lives. And I'm telling you, it's going to make such a huge, huge positive impact for you. Tree of life and wisdom. Yes. So you are learning. You're learning. This is a time of learning. Learning about truth, honor, integrity, doing the right thing, doing what's right for you. Not taking anybody's BS. Not putting up with anybody walk, trying to walk over you or take advantage of you. I'm getting a song. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. We like to monkey around. I'm just getting that. Restraint or the end of conflict. Yes. It's like bye-bye conflict. Anything that was bringing conflict or chaos or drama or struggle or was irritating you. I just see you getting, just taking care of it or getting rid of it. Just like that. Like boosh. It's like you know your worth. And you realize that the time that you give to your job or people in your lives, like that's, it's important, right? It's like, that's your time. That's your life that you're choosing to give. And I just feel like many of you are really realizing just how precious your energy and your time is. And then I see you taking a good hard look at who you're giving your time and your energy to. And if it's not aligned, again, it's just you are cutting it out. Or you're making a plan. You're making a plan, looking at other jobs, starting to move away from that which was suffocating you, essentially. Inundation. So here come the blessings just pouring in, you guys. It's almost like the universe is saying, yeah, we will reward you. When you take a risk, a leap of faith, and you move forward towards your life's purpose and you follow your heart, and if you move into the unknown without having all the answers, but you trust and you have faith, we will reward you for that. Faith is rewarded. Okay, so... This, this to me signifies an increase in monetary abundance, um, things that are aligned with you, right? Friends, fun experiences, more time, more energy. And it's because you've gotten rid of things that were bringing, bringing your energy down and depleting you. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Where else should I pull from? The Sword of Light Tarot. It's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. Beautiful. Take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Recognize the signs from above. 
angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. Yeah. I feel that spirit is trying to get everyone into an energy of just slowing down and really being present in the moment living in the moment and being mindful of everything like even for me you guys on in my personal life today i just made the 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 effort to really slow down and focus on everything that i was doing like i was even making my lunch and i was just like so in the moment not focused or thinking about anything else just making the sandwich <laughs> And then I bit into it and I was like, mmm, and I tasted every little ingredient and I was like crunching on the lettuce and I'm like, yeah, I love that lettuce. Mm. And um, I just enjoyed my sandwich like so much, you guys, like way more than before. Usually I would just eat mindlessly and just be like thinking about all the other things that I need to do and I got to check my email and do this and that. And um, this time I was like, no, I'm just going to be in the moment. And I'm telling you, it really made a huge difference. I actually, yeah, enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed my lunch. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is how food tastes. I forgot, I forgot to slow down and taste my food, right? So I don't know if you guys can resonate with that, but it's just little things like that, right? So anyways, I hope that this message resonated with you and you got something helpful from it, you guys. Um, I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. I'm sending you all the good vibes and I'll see you around. I'll see you in the next one. And remember to stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Bye.